Today we're going to be talking about the part of cellular respiration known as glycolysis. Glycolysis is a very interesting part of cellular respiration and you need it in order to live. It gives you energy, it gives you ATP, it gives you everything you could ever want, need, or desire. Glycolysis starts off with a six carbon molecule. You'll remember that other things such as the Calvin cycle also start off with six carbon molecules. And so this may look a bit familiar, but it has but this is how it happens in humans. So this is a six carbon molecule known as glucose. Remember the Calvin cycle, in the Calvin cycle you're making glucose, and in cellular respiration you start off with glucose. So it's almost like it's the Calvin cycle backwards. So let's look and see what happens first. Your friend ATP comes in first. Notice, let me show you that again real fast, just because it's so interesting. ATP comes in, it burns off one of its P's, and that P gets stuck onto the six carbon molecule. It happens again. It gets a little powered up, but it's not quite powered up enough, so another ATP comes in, burns it up, and that ATP, all, that P also stays on the six carbon molecule. And now it is powerful enough to split. After the two ATPs have been used up, they split into things known as P-gals, P-G-A-L. I just call them P-gals. Another phosphate group comes in so that there are two phosphates on each P-gal. The NAD plus comes in, and these things are now really energized. So the P gals start to energize the NAD plus until they have made NADH. The NADH then disappear, go off somewhere else, and these ADPs come in now. If you remember, the ADPs only have two phosphates as opposed to the ATP that has three phosphates. You can go back and watch the video on ATP if you forgot about that. And we give off one of our P's to the ATP. And now we have a net gain of two ATPs, but we still have two more phosphates in our three carbon P gals. So another ADP comes in, and they once again give off, and we have two more ATPs, so we've gained two more ATPs. So now we've gained a total of four ATPs, but we used up two at the beginning, so we really only gained two. And at the end of glycolysis are two little things known as pyruvates. The end product of glycolysis is two pyruvates. If you want a short summary of glycolysis, two ATPs are used to start glycolysis. The six carbon molecule splits. The carbons power up NAD plus to become NADH. Four ATPs are then created by the three carbon molecule and the end product is two pyruvates. And that is your introduction to glycolysis.